What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some awesome exclusive drops, some new arrivals, and some restocks at DLT Trading. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. There is a ton of stuff at DLT Trading right now that I think you guys will find really interesting and I can't wait to share it with you. You might be thinking to yourself, Metal Complex, why would I sit here and listen to your dialogue on this, listen to your commentary, when I could just go do this for myself? You're right. In fact, I'm going to make it super easy on you. I'm going to list the DLT Drops page, the New Arrivals page, and the Restocks page right down in the description so that you can go and check this stuff out for yourself if you don't want to sit here and listen to my commentary. If you do that, I would really appreciate it if you used my links. It supports my channel, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Right off the bat, the Spyderco PM2 in uh, the, the, the DLT trading exclusive Purple G10 and Black Crew Wear, or the DLC Crew Wear Blade, is still in stock. And I know people, the first, you, you might be wondering like, how is this still in stock? Is it because it's not very popular? No, it's because DLT trading and other retailers have figured out that it really makes people mad when they don't order enough. And then everybody buys them in the first 10 seconds and then there's none left for everybody else. So they have clearly been buying more, right? That is absolutely the case. Uh, with my affiliate link on this the day that it dropped, I noticed a crap load of people bought them. The same amount that always buy them, but they're still there because DLT ordered a large amount. So, given what the current base price is of the Spyderco PM2, which by the way, DLT Trading can do nothing about. I think the standard ones now are $171. DLT Trading's exclusive pricing is usually really good. If you're going to pick up a PM2, get a weird one. Get a, get a unique one, right? I think DLC Crewwear is awesome. The price is high, but... DLTs being as fair as they possibly can, in my opinion. This is a really cool one, and I want to make sure that as many people as possible are aware of this. It is still in stock right now. So if you're wanting to pick this one up, go for it, right? It's there. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the drops page because there's definitely some other things I want to uh, make you guys aware of. Um, I just looked at this right before. Um, right before I started the video, the Bearhead Trapper, the, the WA Searles Custom Knives, I'm not really familiar with those. Uh, these are, this is in stock right now, the Bravo 1.5 and 3V and the Matterhorn S35, S45EN variant apparently drops on August 22nd. This is a really cool page. Most importantly, look at this, August 3rd, August 3rd at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, the DLT Trading Exclusive XM18 three and a half inch no choil Warncliffe will be dropping. Uh, DLT Trading, as far as I understand, there's no way for them to order nearly as many of these as there are as they as they are able to order Spyderco knives. An XM18 takes longer to make. Uh, Rick Hinder Knives is a, a much smaller organization than Spyderco, and they just they can't make like thousands of these go to DLT all at once. So these are going to be expensive. My guess is they're going to be between 425 and $450, these will probably go lightning fast. So if you want to pick one of these up, you will need to be there right on time, August 3rd at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'll try to make a notification about this on my community page so that you guys are all made aware, but yeah. 7G10 options, so if you're not liking black and stonewashed, which is the most basic variant, that's usually the variant that I go after, they'll have a few others, but you'll need to be quick. Expect the site to run slowly. I've seen that definitely. Um, especially, you know, people get on me. They're like, well, they go slow because you make so many people aware of it. Now, I mean, hey, that's part of uh, that's part of my channel. I, I like to make people aware who would not otherwise be aware for sure. Uh, so it's just going to be one of those things. I want to, you know, as many people as possible to get these and actually hang on to them and not flip them on the secondary, right? Um, yeah, this is a good one. This is going to be one to get. So good luck to everybody. Those will be available August 3rd. Um, I don't know anything about these other ones. There's a greater... Oh, that one's sold out. Okay. So, yeah, check out this page. Is that what the CEO actually looks like? <laughs> he looks like Bruce Willis. Now, is that real? I don't know. That's a, a handsome representation. <laughs> okay. Let's go to... Um, let's go to new arrivals. We'll do restocks last. Let's check out some new arrivals for sure. So if you load this page up when you're seeing it, you're gonna, you guys are going to see this on Saturday, you will likely see even newer items, right? I'm recording this a day in advance. So RGT Spyderco clips, Microtech Hera's for quite a bit. Um, we have the Combat Troodon Bounty Hunter in full serrations if you want to pay $818 for that. Uh, lots of Microtechs, it looks like. Uh, Troodons, Microtech, Ultratech 2s, 
Some of these are more reasonably priced than others. I like this Merlot one right here with the satin blade. That's a really nice looking Ultra Tech. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, there's some Medfords mm, stuff that we've seen, right? There's a lot of, there's a ton of Medfords there right now if you want to check out Medfords. REIF F3XE Extreme Conditions. I am not familiar with this company. I'm going to guess this is a USA company or it's going to list as a USA. I don't know anything about this company. Um, 3V and USA. Okay, so there you go. Those are there. If you are into fixed blades, it looks like they have a wide variety of those and very earthy, outdoorsy colors. They also have, these look like kind of maybe they're like half machetes. So I don't know, they look pretty neat to me. I'm sure that they are plenty capable, especially if the heat treat is done correctly. All right. We have brown leather belt pouch. We have a sheath with a fire steel holder. We have five. $500 uh, vehement Karasu Shuriken. Shuriken. I'm so sorry. The ninjas in the comment section are going to get on me for mispronouncing that word. Um, those were there at one point. Okay. Uh, the 8010 Light Tanto. Let's take a look at this. I just picked up the G10 variant, which is absolutely still here. It says $89.99. And I saw this the other day. I don't believe this is S35B, and I think this is an accident. Yeah, wait a sec. The blades are made from Austin A stainless steel rather than S35VN, right? So it says right here. So this is just incorrect. If you want the S35VN variant, you have to buy the G10 version. So it's Austin A for 90 bucks, but hey, listen, this is still a mega beater. This is definitely one of uh, Cold Steel's most durable knives, and if you're really going to beat the absolute crap out of it, it might not... It might not make much of a difference, right? S35VN will still absolutely hold an edge better and it's a better all the way around steel, but you, know, you can make that decision for yourself. RGT Shaman Scales. Oh boy, yeah, if you wanna dress up your Shaman with some American-made custom scales, they've got a whole bunch here right now. This thing finally went out of stock. Uh, I wanna point that one out, the Zero Tolerance 0470 S110V. Um, yeah, that to me, in my opinion, was a step in the right direction for ZT. They had made some really uninteresting stuff, um, here in the last few years. Uh, I was really happy to see, even though it wasn't a new model, I was happy to see an interesting variant of one of their semi-popular models come out. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so that and the Emerson, the, the Emerson Sprint, I also thought was really cool. Whole bunch more Medford 187s, a ton of them. Tons of those things in stock right now. Um, even more on this page. So if that's what you've been after, there are an absolute ridiculous number of those things. Holy moly. Okay. Sharpeners, like the, these are okay for kitchen knives, right? Preci precision adjust. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I had sent to me and I, it's guided. I don't have a ton of experience with it. Um, so that's cool if you're wanting to sharpen your knives on a budget and get a good edge. I use a KME, which is also available at DLT Trading. You can get the KME sharpening system here with the diamond stones, right? Olight Warrior 3S Fire. Mm, that's that's kind of neat, right? 3S Air, if these are intended. I would, I would recommend for EDC, like I don't like the stainless steel and the titanium especially if they are magnetic because the magnetic ones, especially if it's a, a bigger flashlight, the, the magnet's not usually powerful enough to, to seat the flashlight horizontally, right? Um, so I would go with aluminum with those if you can, but your mileage may vary. It depends on the model that you get. RGT Spyderco Universal three-hole clips are available. Those are pretty good from what I've heard. I don't have one of those on any of my Spydercos, but I've, I've heard that a lot of people like them. The CRKT snap lock is, is there. That's a wild one. I remember that thing folds up in a really weird way. Um, let's see. These must have been super popular because they are all completely and totally out of stock. So there we go. Falkniven RL1DI Desert Ironwood. Okay, interesting. I knew that the Brachial, I saw that the other day and be gone. Hey, if you want a Microtech Marfion Custom Blood and Iron Round Flask with a spike on the end of it for whatever reason, uh, they're available for $1,395. Okay, let's look at it. <sighs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, nothing goes more hand in hand than, uh, you know, alcohol and an attitude adjuster. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, some people, maybe you're into that. I I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't want to get I don't want to get too worked up about it because it's hardly the most ridiculous thing I've seen come out of the knife world, right? Okay, moving on here. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Lots of lots of this these fixed blades are super popular. I imagine I'm not much of a fixed blade person, right? But um, our uh, DLT trading seems to carry fixed blades that many people love. These are sick. Look at that. Fat Carbon Nebula, that is really cool. Oh man, I like that a lot. I think that looks awesome. Um, so there you go. I, I like, RTT does great quality. And I'm sure that there are people down in the description who will you know, talk about that for sure. Whole bunch of Shaman stuff available. Jack Wolf Knives, I noticed those went pretty quick. Uh, Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 31 Unique Graphic, that's still available if you're looking for a, a lefty there. Heretic, Medusa, and Wraith. A couple of those available. Some Para 3 RGT scales. Uh, Praetorian T, Tanto. These are the full-size ones. Not full thickness. That's the Praetorian tie. The Praetorian T is available in a few different variations there. So if that's what you're looking for. Knight Elements V2 Ultra Kukri. Oh, if you want a Kukri, or I'm not sure how to pronounce that, folder, then there you go. Some more Microtechs, some of the smaller ones, uh, UTX 70s, whole bunch of UTX 70s if you've been trying to get one. The Chavez Sangri Street, which didn't get an enormous amount of attention, but that is still there. Those are larger than I expected. I, I thought that they would be, I always picture the street variants as, as tiny knives, and they're not. Um, they're, they're actually, I would say, like, I would still call them full size knives, um, maybe teetering into the zone of medium. If, um, you know, depends on how you define that. The Saw Gagas is one of the weirdest knives ever. But if that's what you like, then that's what you like. A bunch of Kershaws, a whole bunch of Kershaws. Uh, CRKTs, the CRKT Butte, I actually have that one here. Reviews incoming. Same with the Attaboy. Uh, the Hogue Ballista, which I am going to be reviewing very soon that looks really cool to me um so i'm going to check that one out i think the one I, I don't know if the one i have coming in is a tanto or a draw point um i think we might be getting back into the zone of these giant mouse ace nazcas are interesting to me i don't know anything about them but they have a little it looks like an axis lock on there so yeah i might be checking that out soon Boker Lancer, deedle, 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 just looking for something that's going to catch my eye. Boker F3.5, the AD10 light and drop point configuration is there for $94. The Tour X, XT1 Alpha, that's a fully USA made folder. Uh, I have a review on that if you want to check that out on my channel. Let's see, RGT Smock Scales. Are we getting back into the territory of stuff that I have already taken a look at? I believe so. I think so. We're back in the case and stuff like that. The Mini Tough Flight is there. The Lion Steel LE1 is so weird. I think those are in Magna Cut. Yeah. I don't know what the heat treat is on them, but yeah. Okay. I think so. Let's go to, um, let's check out the exclusives page just to see if there's anything different there. You can check out everything that DLT Trading has. That They still have the 20 CV. Oh, man. The 20CV PM2 is still there. They must have ordered a ridiculous number of these, right? Tons of them. Uh, that's there for 175. So you have a couple of choices at DLT Trading if you want to pick up the 20CV exclusive or the Crewwear exclusive. Both of them look cool. And if you're not into these colored scales, uh, they've got quite a bit uh, for aftermarket scales out there, or you know, just right here at DLT. The Lynch All Access Pass V1.0 is available and it looks like a few other things the Dem the demco 8020.5 in od green is still there there's a bunch of stuff check out that page and then let's go to the restock page i want to take a look at that real quick there's a few things here i want you to be aware of bunch of hinder hardware just landed i can't remember the last time i saw xm18 three and a half inch brass sets so if you've been looking for that that's there 940 osborne zt0562 tie this is a good one to pick up. I always mention that. 
I don't know when that's going to be gone, but when it's gone, people are going to miss it. The ZT uh, 0452CF, that's a huge knife. Nine and a quarter, perhaps closing in on nine and a half inches with, I believe, a four and a quarter inch blade. Definitely one of ZT's better knives. If you're looking to customize something that is American made, the Benchmade Mini Grip Tillion uh, in this sheep's foot, an opening hole configuration is great at 117 bucks. There's an absolute crap load of aftermarket stuff for the Mini Grip. Um... ZT 0392 GLCF and 0640 Emerson, two more uh, really great designs from ZT that you can actually get right now. So those are there. Um, wow, that's a lot for a native five. Protec SBRs are back. Lefty PM2s. This is what I'm saying. The base model PM2 is 171 bucks. DLT Trading can't do anything about Spyderco's base pricing. So the fact that they're only pricing their exclusives like a few bucks more. Than the base price PM2, right? That's pretty. That's pretty good. Their exclusives are pretty good. Spyderco Chaparral carbon fiber. I think that's a laminate. I could be mistaken. Those are CTS XHP for 161 bucks. Spyderco UK PK for uh, an S110V for 123 is pretty cool. I can't believe there's a Sith Lord Ultra Tech here. That might not be there by the time you guys are seeing this video, but it's there at, in my time. <laughs> that's a really cool one. It's a lot of money for an ultra tech, but it's really cool. Let's go to page two. I'm pretty sure it was just the first two pages I saw that were interesting. Spyderco Military. Those are there. S35VN Resilience. That's a lot of money for Resilience. More Protec SBRs and Two-Tone. TR3 is still sitting there. Rockstead Shin ZDP if you're a, a big spender. Ah, uh, the uh, XL Voyager. Oh man, that is a freaking huge knife. <laughs> Half serrated Adamus. I think that's an. I think that might be an auto, judging by the price. Yeah, I think that's about it. All right, guys. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to um, share with you guys today. I think probably the two most interesting things at DLT right now are the the two PM2s. You can still get the 20CV exclusive and the Crewwear exclusive. Um, so make sure you check those out. And again, for those of you trying to get your hands on a hinderer, another hinderer, or maybe your first hinderer, that uh, Warncliffe no choil is definitely going to be a popular item. So make sure that you're ready at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time on August 3rd. That's going to be pretty much it today. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.